Hello, I'm Abby Campbell from New York, New York. I'm going to be talking about the Nano Needle 2.0 camera system, as well as going through the new instruments that we have available and going through a basic diagnostic knee scope with all of this. So starting with the back table, we've got working from right to left, the Nano Needle 2.0 scope. It comes in a single use peel pack, exactly the same as the Nano Needle 1.0. It has the same handle, has the same plug, white balance the same way. The difference is just that the box is gray. We've got the Nano Suture Retriever. Next, we have the Nano Scissor. Nano Biter. And then the Nano Grasper. The amazing thing about these new instruments is not only are they autoclavable and reusable, it will save your surgery center money, but they're bendable. So some people like a lot of up biter, some people like a little bit of up biter, some people even like a reverse up. So anything that you think would be helpful, you can mold it and use it as you wish, or you could even keep it in your tray. Moving forward from the grasper on the left side, we have the small hook probe and then the nano shaver. Top row, most exciting thing of the day for me is this new auxiliary lumen passport cannula. It's an eight by three passport and it has this auxiliary lumen that fits all of the nano instruments, both the grass for a suture retriever, et cetera, as well as the camera. Next is the standard working cannula and then the fluid sheaths curved in straight. Here is the new auxiliary lumen passport cannula. This is the standard eight by three passport cannula that we all know and love. You have that central standard lumen that you can use for all the typical procedures that we use it for. And you can see on the side here where there's this tiny black ring, that's the auxiliary lumen where you can fit all of the two millimeter nano instruments, including the nano needle camera. That's very helpful if you need an accessory portal, say for suture management for certain cases, you could also use it, as you can see, the camera goes all the way cleanly smooth. You can use it for additional viewing. If you have an area of the knee that or shoulder that you're having trouble getting to. So now we're going to be taking our new Nano Needle 2.0 for a drive. Starting off just outside of the knee, now you can see I'm holding it toward the back. This is the same handle as the 1.0. I prefer to hold it at the back handle, but others will prefer to hold it closer to the knee, which you can absolutely do. That gives you a bit more control. So starting our diagnostic arthroscopy here, immediately compared to Dr. Frank's video, which is shown right next to me, you can see the colors are much brighter. The definition is much better. And for me, who's been using the prior nano needle for a long time now, it really focuses on the images much better of the anatomy where analyzing and not so much the foreground. So starting off going to our lateral compartment here, as you can see, the knee is literally just hanging out in flexion. We're not manipulating it at all. And I can see pretty much the entire lateral compartment with the Nano Needle 2.0 here. I'm looking closely at that tiny little radial tear there. You can see the fraying in very high definition. You can see the color differentiation between the tissue planes. You can see the cartilage really beautifully. And that was all done without having to do any figure four or anything. Now coming into our medial compartment. So again, we'll leave the knee hanging out and see how much we can see before we start manipulating. So a lot of the anterior part of the weight bearing condyle, we can see the whole meniscal body and even start seeing the inner rim of the posterior horn there. And as we extend the knee, bring it into ever so slight valgus. We can get all the way back, evaluate our root attachment, get the probe above and below the meniscus here. And you can see looking in the back is an area that the illumination on this new system really makes a huge difference diagnostically. And we'll see in a second when we go into the posterior medial knee compared to the 1.0 version, it's a game changer. You can see much better. And so I'm gonna get all up in the posterior horns business here and start probing around to look for any kind of undersurface tears. And as we pull back, you can see the cartilage is completely unscathed. I did not perform any cartilage crimes while 
shoving the scope into the back of the knee, which as we all know, is a big thing that we see a lot with the 4.0 arthroscope. There'll be iatrogenic dings on the cartilage that make us sad. So now getting into that posterior medial view, we can see the menisco capsular junction really nicely. We also, we also can use the curved fluid sheath for this if you find that you're not getting a good angle, which can help you if you need to perform a root repair, like ramp repair, or if you just need to look back there diagnostically like for loose bodies. So now we're gonna go up to the patellofemoral joint. So again, compared to Dr. Frank's video with the colors, the definition, the illumination of the areas that aren't exactly in the foreground is significantly different. So we can see the full scope of patellar cartilage, plica, trochlea, and the lateral facet over here. And now we can watch patellar tracking, evaluate that trochlear cartilage re lesion. This is also extremely useful, for example, MPFL reconstruction. If you wanna be looking from that superlateral portal, or even if you wanna check your tracking throughout the case and check your graft passage, the nano is great for that because all you need is just a tiny little poke hole. And there we are. So now we're gonna utilize some of our nano instruments to do some meniscal debridement for that terrible tear that we saw earlier in this lateral meniscus here, this little inner rim radial tear. So this is our nano biter. Remember, this is the one we spoke about earlier that you can bend, you can reuse, it gives you excellent control over your meniscal resection to make a really nice smooth edge. You're not accidentally plunging and you can get your camera very close to the tissue so you can really see what you're working with. This is particularly great for those really stubborn tears that we've all had in that posterior root on usually the medial side, you have a piece that's flipped up and stuck in the notch that the standard shaver and biters just keep pushing backwards. This is really nice to just get a grip on it. And you can see that there's teeth on this biter as well. Next, we're gonna check out the Nano Shaver. It's a 2.8 millimeter saber. Again, this is not new for the 2.0 system, but I love this tiny shaver. I use it in all of my knee scopes because it can get all the way in the back, which all of the degenerative tears typically are. So this is just the shaver. Finishing our debridement here in the body. And again, have not touched the cartilage once so far. So as you can see from our diagnostic arthroscopy with the Nano Needle 2.0, this new system gives us much higher definition compared to the 1.0. So you can see the resolution difference, the coloration, the saturation difference, as well as the illumination in those dark corners. So this is a huge game changer in my practice. I hope that all of you get to use it and consider it for your standard knee arthroscopy.